Let's talk about settings of a Redium GUI editor and of a project in the editor. Now one of the typical designs, black GUI is open. Let's pass over to the settings of a Redium GUI editor. It's the Tools Options tab. Here you can see the settings which we can change and these changes will affect editor's work. The first property, divider for file group operation. Here we can see underscore. What do we use this property for? It's used while working with gallery. And now I'm passing to gallery of Iridium GUI editor, the graphic gallery tab. Here you can see standard graphic items. As I have already mentioned, we can download our images to the project and here we need indications of a divider for file group operation. I'll create a folder to add my own images and graphic items to it. So let's use the import file function. And now I have to select graphic items which I want to import to my project. So here we'll talk about the role of a divider for file group operation. As you can see, I have selected several items which I want to import to edit a gallery. These graphic items must be whole items consisting of two or more states. State number must be separated from the name of a graphic item by underscore. So underscore has been selected as a separator. If I select two images in the names of which there is an underscore, so after the name it's a number which means the number of each state. So I input them and confirm that I want to use a separator by pressing yes. Instead of two separate images I get a ready graphic item consisting of two states. Blue and black as I have selected before. By the similar procedure, you can create animated object consisting of two, 50, 100 states for creating level, creating buttons with two states and others. So next property in the menu of settings is license path, a mode if working with the license. It defines if Iridium emulator will work in a full functional mode when emulator starts. If demo mode is activated, emulator will work without connection to a control panel. The graphic part of the project will be functional, but you won't be able to set connection between a controller and audio video equipment or any other device in the project overview tree. We remove the check, indicate the path to the license file for Windows, and in this case, when emulator starts, the connection will be established to the control device as it is working with a fully functional control panel. Then, if you want to launch emulator Iridium in the full screen mode, you should activate client full screen. If you want to play the standard sounds, activate client sound on. Then you can find system information which affects on displaying commands and channels in the working area of GUI editor. Here you can select font size in the names of items in the working area. For example, I can display the name of the graphic item in the upper left corner and I can select font and its size. Next property, show items in tree. You can decide if you want to demonstrate a list of graphic items in the project overview tree or not. As you can see, if I activate it and confirm changes by moving to the start page of the project, where I am now, I can select any graphic item on this page.
I can delete or add it to the gallery. Or you can import this item from the working area of the editor to your own gallery. Next property, check updating at start. The editor will request updates from the Iridium server. Scan count, next property, is used in work with HDL Bus Pro driver. Operation with this driver is fully described in its instruction on our wiki. These settings do not affect work of the interface. Then uh, you can see autosave settings. If you want your project to be saved automatically with definite frequency, tick autosave and select an interval. While saving the project, you can create a backup, a copy of the project. It's always useful. You'll be able to return to the latest version with the help of the backup. Let's pass over to the project settings. You can open them through the project properties menu in the toolbox or pressing the right-click menu while selecting a project in the project overview tab. Let's open the project settings. Here you can see three tabs. The first one, the general tab, describes the main properties of the project. They are name, resolution, here you can change the resolution, but you have to consider that items of the project won't transplace by changing the resolution. There is no automatic scaling. That's why we have to adjust change position of the items manually. In this tab, you can change the orientation of the project. Scaling is not provided. You can switch on the script saver page. It will be open if the system doesn't work for a long period of time. That is when the project is launched on the control panel and nothing happens with it. There are no presents on the graphic items. You can select a page with your company logo or any other as the screensaver. Startup settings which indicate pages and windows which will be launched at the start of the Iridium project on a control device. Page the project start page. Every project must have a start page, but you can do without pop-ups in the project. If you want to add a pop-up to show it at the start, press the add button and select the pop-up you want to demonstrate. So next step, settings of screen and sound. The general tab sets up standard sounds in the Iridium project selected by default. Settings for Windows and OS X define if it's necessary to launch the project in a full screen mode. Switch off a frame at the project start and select the project orientation. The custom position tab indicates the project orientation relative to the upper left corner of the screen. The always on top mode can be open for the Windows application. The show cursor setting indicates the necessity to show the cursor when you are in the application window, for example, while working on a sensor panel in Windows, it's unnecessary to show the cursor. Next step, system settings define if it's necessary to clear tokens. Tokens are global project variables. Setting of remote debugging is only used for iOS and Android devices where we can't show the login the application window. In this case, you should use a special server. Its host and port are set up in the window where Iridium client app will send data about login. Import edit options are emulation and sending to a control device. Emulation enables you to launch the project for checking its work. The send to panel option allows you to save the project and download it on a control device for example, iOS or Android w without any extra actions. This procedure is very simple and we'll describe it later. 
So these are the main editor options you will face when working with it. Thank you for your attention.